everyone, this is Zilicus Rager. Uh, I'm here with my very good friend, Gultheros, who actually is graduating today in 10 minutes. Well, he already has graduated, or you know what I mean. It's like... I want to redo that. Uh, nah. But, um, yeah, so... Graduation yesterday, finally out of high school. Yeah. We're gradu he graduated yesterday, he's finally out of high school. Today he's having his party. And we gotta go to that in 10 minutes. So, if this is a little bit of a short video, don't blame me. It's just, you know, we don't really have much time. Blame science like every person in a science class ever has done. Pretty much. Damn you, science! Indeed. However, there is one You're boy lazy. who does not have a fairy. Yeah, indeed. I mean, look, look at this guy. He just... Like, what the fuck, man? Look, look how bright it is outside, and you're still asleep. Well, it's actually kind of dark, but... At least in his eyes, but, like, whatever. Take it to the future! What? Anyway. We all know who that is, right? Right? A complete and total idiot. Who? Who are we talking about? The kid or the guy? Technically, all villains are idiots. Well... They have nameless grunts who are even bigger idiots. And well, always try the same exact thing. Well, it depends on who you're talking about, really. Because, like, there's plenty of games out there, as we all know. And, actually, as you know... At least all the nameless grunts are idiots. Also... It depends on a villain's sanity, really. Because when you think about it, a villain's sanity is what contributes to how, um... Who, like, who they really are and what they're gonna plan. It really points to who they can be. I present as an example the Joker. Who is, uh, well, I mean, we all know how psychotic the Joker is, right? He's right? psychotic, so he's not an idiot. Exactly. And also, he never tries the same thing twice. Well, all okay. idiot... All, all he villains, has, technically, all, because of all his reboots, but still. All villains are either stupid or psychotic. Yeah, but I like the, the psychotic, psychotic ones. ones. are the fun ones. Yeah, because they're less easy to predict, and they're less, you know... They're more fun, you know? In most cases, anyway. Uh, unless, of oh, course, yeah. you count some you, creepy you shit, tell, like... You tell me it's night. Look at this. All these other people are up... Well, I think it's just because of how long that Deku Tree took talking. Like, I mean, did you hear that guy? He speaks Shakespearean, for Christ's sakes. He is talking way too long, obviously. Also, what fairy runs also, into a fence? Also, you gotta admit, there's the fact that day and night pass by pretty damn quickly in this game. Actually, in all Zelda games, they pass by, like, in the blink of an eye. Because you can go for, like, five... No, not even five, like, no. two minutes... Or something like that. Oh, actually, I'll just go with four minutes. Yeah, four minutes, and then the, like, it's night. Five, five minutes, or four minutes more is day. And, like, it's really weird, this game's time system. But, oh, well, I'm not complaining, because, like, considering how long it takes for it to be night, it can help you out with a lot of stuff. Like, for example, waiting for your sword to be repaired in the shop. Or, not repaired, but, like, made. For those of you who remember that subquest, kudos to you. Or again, that one uh, sword, which was technically a knife, having to wait tons of years and spend lots of money on it just for it to break. Which one are we talking about? The giant's knife. Oh yeah, the giant's knife. Uh, yeah, that's the cheap one, and then you have to get a better version. Also, you get those in the same year, by the way. You don't have to wait years, you have to wait three days. No, I remember there was one of them where you had to wait until you were grown up to get the adult wallet because it cost $200. You sure you're oh, not thinking of a different game? A different Zelda I'm, game? I'm, I'm, I don't know what game it is. It's probably Twilight Princess, considering Twilight Princess just... The only reason it's good in my eyes is I don't because think, it copied a lot of the stuff from Ocarina of Time and just turned it into I think it was game. older than that. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I really don't. All I do know is uh, that the well, giant's knife is if, in this game, and the big Goron sword is in this game. By the way, the ma makers of both swords are brothers. Just one's older, and more experienced. 
When you get the big gore on the Obviously sword, not obviously the one who gives you the knife. Obviously not. Don't tell me you want to listen. Do we do what we want. You mean I do what I want? You're you're the slave, you're just doing it. <laughs> and really I think it's more like I do what I want because I'm Link. You're the cameraman. Think about it this way. You have a chance of dying, I don't. No, you have a chance of dying too from being stabbed in real life. Since when have you seen the cameraman of a movie get killed? Let's see, also, uh, how about space balls? Okay, I haven't seen that. Also, you just got ran over by a giant boulder. You can't talk. Well, look Twice. at my hearts. Look at my hearts. I'm still full health, foo. Take that. Let's do Who gets run over by a giant boulder twice in less than a minute? Uh, the same guy who's going the wrong direction, I guess. Also, the same guy who just randomly cuts down signs for no reason. Hey, as a sign, no one cares about that crap. Exactly. That's a reason. They deserved it. No one cares about signs anymore. Um, what time is it? We got a couple more minutes. Okay, so let's go and harvest some more rupees and then get the Deku shield and then we'll call it a day. Alright. Because honestly that's gonna t that's how long it's gonna take is about two minutes to get all these rubies and then just like pay for the stupid shield. Uh -huh. And then maybe, I'll just maybe we can talk to the Deku tree and stop doing that. Uh -huh. That's getting really annoying. Stupid tree thing. Tree house thing. Anyway. I'll also give some of the best Legend of Zelda advice ever. If you ever try kill, you can do whatever you want and no one will care. You try killing a chicken and everyone will think you're a terrorist. Exactly. It's like, but in Hyrule, people don't care if you randomly enter their houses and take their stuffs. To quote a very funny video series on YouTube I know of. <clears throat> so my best. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, that was, yeah. So, Look anyway. Look at that guy failing to pick up a single rock. It, to me, it more, looks more like he's humping you. I mean, look at that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It broke. Oh, my. <laughs> Something like that, I'm sure. Like, real hope, men don't, I real hope men don't pick up rocks. That, I hope he at least bought that rock dinner first. Real men don't oh, pick up rocks, they rape them. <laughs> anyway. Honestly, everyone in this forest right now looks like they're doing something wrong. Something or other. Because they're kind of creepy, if you ask me. The Kokuri are very creepy, if you ask me. Despite the fact that, you know, he was... Link here was born and raised here. Well, not born, but like raised here. Which we find out later, but I'm not gonna go into detail on that right now. The Spoilers. point is, is like, the point is, is like, the Kogri are very creepy because they're over a hundred years old, plus, and they, you know, are children still. That's some creepy ass shit right there to think about. Like, they're not children, not they're in the just case midgets. Not with really that, long lifespans. Not to mention the fact that, like, Saria is, like, your friend, but, like, she treats you as if you're, she's your boyfriend or something like that half the time. And, like... Oh, my. Exactly. And, like, the thing about... What? What? Just letting you know. Letting you know what? Oh. Uh, we better be signing off for the day, guys. So, yeah, we'll talk to you. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.